Hi, this is Soft Cell Video Productions, and I'm your host, John Boy. Welcome to episode number 156, and this is where we go over kitchen layout, and it's going to be very heavy on code, because this is one place where the inspectors don't screw around, okay? They may overlook a lot of stuff, the kitchen's not one of them. So, the first thing we're going to start out with is the island. First thing to consider is that an island either has a backsplash or it does not. If it has a backsplash, then your outlets have to be within two feet of the edge of the backsplash and then every four feet apart to the next outlet. If it does not have a backsplash, you defer to the pedestal. And this code applies to the pedestal, not the surface area. So, if you have an area here, say it's two feet or wider, you need an outlet. Within four feet, you need another outlet. Within four feet, you need another outlet. Within four feet, you need another outlet. If you have cabinets, etc., they're exempt. So just be aware of that. And if you want to know how to properly wire an island, go back to my episode number 121, which tells you how to use BX. That's very important because an island can only be wired using BX. There's no alternative. Now here's one where I'm going to give you a lot to digest. And we're going to go from right to left. First of all, if you have countertop space over one foot, you have to have an outlet where your refrigerator goes. You have a dedicated outlet. That means you have a breaker in the panel and the only place that breaker goes is to this refrigerator. Now, going along the wall, you have to have an outlet within two feet of the end of the counter, and then within four feet of each and every other outlet. So, coming around, we come up to the range area. Now, you can either have, this is a 240 designation, you can either have a 240 outlet, or if you have gas, you can have a standard outlet that is non-GFI protected. Now, what's important is if you're going to put an overhead microwave, you have to have a dedicated outlet. That's exempt from the GFI or the ARC fault code. So you can just have an outlet up there waiting for your nice handy dandy um, super duper microwave. Now, again, this outlet's got to be within two feet of the edge of the counter and then Sinks are not considered usable wall space. So, that's a big zero there. At any rate, you're going to need an outlet within two feet of this edge. And if it happens to be four feet or less, you can get away with one outlet. We come over, this outlet has got to be within two feet of the edge of the sink. Again, we go to the four foot rule, four foot rule, and then technically, even if there's no backsplash, um, you're going to have to have an outlet here for the four foot rule. Now, that's considering there's a backsplash all the way around. If there's not, then you're still going to have to adhere to the 
two foot, four foot rule, and that's going to have to go in there one way or another. But if you have a, a gas appliance, you can get away with just a standard outlet here, not GFI protected. And if an inspector's cool, he'll let you drop down off the dedicated microwave because a gas oven takes about a quarter of an amp to operate. So that kind of covers the kitchen in a nutshell. And now we're going to go on to sink area. Now, wherever your sinks are, you're going to have a dishwasher disposal outlet underneath them, leading to which that operates garbage disposal. You're going to have a piece of 12-3 that requires a two-pole breaker. Now, one switch is going to operate your garbage disposal. Okay? The other leg on this 12-3 is just going to feed through and hardwire to the dishwasher disposal or pe perhaps it'll just plug in. But basically this portion is switched, this portion is hot all of the time. And that's important to know. This outlet should be mounted at about 18 inches. And the reason why is you want to be able to service it underneath the sink with a minimum of obstructions. So these are the two sinks. That's your garbage disposal. And this is your switched outlet. This is your all hot outlet to your dishwasher. Dishwasher disposal outlet. That takes care of that. On the dishwasher disposal, you might want to look at video number 88. Very important, very important that you look over that video before you attempt to wire in your dishwasher disposal outlet. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Alright, now here's something that a lot of people don't know. Is that your dining room is considered part of the kitchen code-wise. What I mean by that is that you are only allowed four outlets per GFI, just like the kitchen, all right? Four is the magic number. You cannot go over four outlets per GFI. So if you're in your dining room, right, and you have a fifth outlet, you got to add a GFI, but that's doubtful. For the most part, you'll get by with two or three. But the dining room is special. It's a special room. And that's because it falls under the code of the kitchen. So remember that. That should be everything you need to know about how to lay out your kitchen. Once again, thank you very much for watching. And stay tuned because we got more stuff coming up. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.